Hi, my name's Keith Nickel, and today I'm with Tammy and Ole here who have just gone through our in-person fast track to striding program. Uh, they're alpine skiers, well not just alpine skiers, they're alpine instructors, uh, and they wanted to learn classic skiing. Uh, so uh, Ole, can you just explain like what are some of the differences you found coming from an alpine background that are a little different with classic skiing? Yes, Keith. Uh, what I noticed the most was in Alpine, we're balanced against the edge of our outside ski, uh, whereas in classic skiing, we're balanced over top on a flat ski. The toe, knee, nose are right balanced over that ski. Okay. Uh, uh, another similarity was the athletic stance. We're same athletic stance, bent knees, bent ankles, bent hips. Strong. Right. Yeah. Well, that's a real a big thing that I'm uh, really trying to promote is this athletic stance once our classic skiers. And of course, coming from Alpine, uh, you'd have the same stance because that keeps you centered over your ski. Now, coming from Alpine uh, and not really classic skiing before, what do you see as some of the benefits of a downhill skier dipping into the uh, tracks and doing a bit of classic skiing? That's what came out for me, Keith, was the cross training. Um, it was excellent cross training for my downhill skiing because now I'm on this skinny little ski yeah. that's hard to balance on. I don't have the support of my big alpine boot, so I have to be perfectly balanced over my ski. If I'm too far forward, I have no heel support. If I'm too far back, my boot doesn't hold me. So it really forces me to be in the center of my foot. Right, yeah. Well, you can't cheat with these things. These, these boots are, are pretty flimsy and low, and you can't get too far forward or back. You're absolutely right. you got to be centered over the ski to stay balanced. And uh, uh, after you did our program, you said uh, mentioned that uh, Tammy's mom came up for a, for, a, for a ski, never been classic skiing before. You took some of the same drills that we looked at in our program and taught her. How did that go? Very well. I, the biggest thing was getting her out of this centered position where she was balanced over both of her skis yeah. and getting her to balance over the one ski yeah. and get some glide on that ski while she's balanced over it. And, and once it, she got that, the, the improved. And she could, do, she could do that just in a, in a kind of, a, you said a morning of skiing. Morning of skiing and she's not a skier, so. Well, that's, that's amazing for a 74 year old person to get out, not skied, to get up and be in a balance on one ski. Must have done a great job. I guess you're an Alpine instructor kind of background help there with that, you know what to talk about and how to get her to do that. And, and your tips and coaching, Keith, I mean, that, that's excellent. Well, great, yeah. So uh, what we're gonna do now is just sort of have a look at how these folks skied when they, before they came in, just we had them just do the regular old skiing or try to ski for whatever, whatever, and then how they improved over that, uh, those couple of sessions using our fast track uh, program. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So when uh, Ole and Tammy came for this uh, fast track to striding session, we had them just uh, you know, give it a go as to what they might do. And they were kind of skiing like your average person out there doing the shuffle. And they were coordinated with the shuffle, but still leaving both skis in the track. So Tammy very quickly changed her shuffle uh, to a pretty good stride. Notice that she's getting pretty good one-footed balance. The ski is coming down at or ahead of the other ski. Uh, main thing I'd be asking Tammy to do is maybe don't reach so far with her poles. Uh, but other than that, great skiing, Tammy. Here comes Ole, nice and deliberate. Skiing here, but look at the weight shift. You can see he's skiing from ski to ski. My next thing for Ole would be to ask him to get a little bit more kick, a little bit more power, but otherwise great skiing for just a few hours out. So here is kind of the double poles when they first started out. A bit stiff and kind of just using arms, which is pretty common. You know, they were, were trying to get a little bit more mobility, mobility and a little bit more forward. That's what we're really aiming for now with their hips. Uh, and Tammy really did well in the double pole. Uh, look at how she brings her hips and torso forward in the slow motion pass here uh, to get a little bit more power onto our poles, uh, which is very hard to get beginner skiers, people who never classic skied, to do that. So great skiing, Tammy. 
uh, also Ole also improved his double pull uh, quite a bit. Uh, but one thing I'm uh, going to mention to him after this video is to maybe not move up onto his toes, as you can see in, here in this slow motion section, uh, and maybe don't crouch down quite so much. Um, but otherwise, uh, great skiing, Ole. So let's just recap now. Uh, Tammy and Ole, Alpine uh, ski instructors, uh, were able to pick up classic skiing pretty quickly, I think, uh, because of their ba good background in terms of balance, their alpine stance and so forth. Remember the difference though, as Ole pointed out, they're used to balancing on this outside ski as they go around a turn. Uh, we've got to now balance on a single ski like this uh, and like this. And of course, this is the biggest struggle for people. So in our fast track program, we've broken down this transition from shuffling or lunging to striding, we're getting that one footed balance uh, into small baby steps with both some dry land training and all of these little small steps in videos that you can access once you join our fast track to striding program. So if you live in an area where you don't have access to good instruction and you're interested in uh, learning this, uh, contact me for details. If you like this video, Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share it with skiers you think might benefit. Thanks for watching.